Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the sixth grade concept of determining the validity of equations and inequalities. This is standard 6.10b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 23 of the 2023 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got an equation here, four different equations, and we need to see which one of these is true when we substitute in six-fifths for y. So we've got a variable here, y, and it's going to show up in each of these four equations. And six-fifths is only going to make one of these equations true. We're looking for the one that works. So what we're going to do here is let's just copy a. Right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my y, since y equals 6 fifths, I'm going to replace it with that 6 fifths. So 6 fifths plus 4 fifths equals 2. Well, when I'm adding fractions, I need to make sure the denominator is the same. Thankfully, look, they already are the same, so I don't have to do any work there. So when I'm adding that, 6 plus 4 makes 10. Now, it, they're both fifths, so I'm not going to say 10 tenths. Right, 5 plus 5 makes 5 because the denominator doesn't change when you're adding fractions, just the numerator. 6 fifths and 4 fifths, right, are going to be 10 fifths. So does 10 fifths equal 2? Well, that's an improper fraction. How do I turn that into a mixed number? You always can divide up. 5 goes into 10 twice with nothing left over. So actually, that works. 10 fifths does equal 2. So I'm thinking my answer is A, obviously. Let's check B, C, and D to make sure they are incorrect. So let's check B. So I've got 1 and 1 sixth minus Y equal 0. And so I'm going to substitute in my Y with 6 fifths. Now, I can't really subtract this uh, because I've got different denominators. So my least common multiple there is going to be 30. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my, my 1 sixth into thirtieths, right? And so that's going to be one and five thirtieths. And this is going to be six fifths. I need to change that into thirtieths, right? That's going to be thirty six thirtieths. Now, since one's a mixed number, one's a fraction, right, uh, an improper fraction, let's go to make them both mixed numbers. So what I would do is I would divide up 30 goes into 36 once, that leaves me six left over, that's actually going to be my numerator and my denominator is my divisor. So one and six thirty is so close, but that would actually be negative one thirtieth. So it's not B, which I didn't expect it to be. Let's check C. C is interesting because Right, we've got a decimal, and then I've got this six fifths equals eight fifths. Well, you know what? Let's check this. Now we should know uh, that you know the zero point two. What that equals is part of our benchmark fractions that we learned in sixth grade. But if not, we can always just say, "Look, it's a decimal, two tenths." So that's going to be two tenths, right? So these two equal each other. Zero point two equals two tenths. I can simplify that to one fifth. So now I can add, right? One fifth plus six fifths does not equal eight fifths. It equals seven fifths. Once again, very close, but not quite. Now, D is interesting because look, they're reciprocals. I got five sixths times Y equals two. So I'm going to replace that Y with six fifths. Now, the nice thing about multiplying by fractions is you don't have to worry about the denominator being the same. I don't need to change the denominator 30. When you multiply fractions, you multiply straight across. So 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times 5 is 30. So guess what? I've got 30 over 30. That actually equals 1, not 2. And these are reciprocals because it's the, uh, the numerator of one is the denominator of the other, and then vice versa. The denominator of the first one is the numerator of the second. Anytime you multiply any reciprocal, right? 1 half, 2 over 1. 3 fourths, 4 over 3. Anytime you do something like this, it always equals 1. So it's not D. So our original answer was correct. The answer is A.